and welcome back everyone. It may marks the beginning of the busiest time in the nation for moving. In 1997, the month of May was designated as National Moving Month, but beware of who you choose to move you. And uh, joining us now is Katie Galan with the Better Business Bureau. Thank you for joining us. Now you have some warnings about moving companies and how you pick the right mover for you. Yes, correct. So this is a huge, um, this is a huge time for moving companies. You know, some some people are coming back from college. Uh, you know, students are coming back home. People are moving. So it's a really important time to to kind of pay attention to to what's going on in the in kind of in the moving industry. So you want to be careful of people who are asking for a large deposit. Um, what we do see is sometimes people pay that large deposit mm -hmm. or that deposit just in general, and then the movers don't show up. Um, you know, they just kind of disappear, or they um, you know. They, they give you an estimate based on the weight of your item, so then they end up loading up their truck, and then they say, well, you know, you're over your weight capacity or over the weight limit, um, and then the, the charges for, for the pounds that go over are significantly higher. Sometimes they're double the original estimate. So th those are some of the things that we And then that they've already got your stuff in their truck, so exactly. it's like you have to pay them. And what sounds a little bit outlandish is sometimes they just disappear with your items and basically kind of hold them hostage, so then they ask for this big, huge fee for you to pay to get your items and, and what can Texans do to, to stay safe from this? So um, one of the things that you can do, of course, is when you're going to look for them on their website, make sure that they have an actual physical address. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that they have information on their licensing, on their registration. You definitely want to make sure that they are, that they are insured. Uh, make sure that that you're going through that you're reading all the the terms and conditions which we always talk about you know nobody really likes to read that but you it's very important it. have to read the terms and conditions have to read uh, the limits of liability on your items um, and something that's really important that people probably don't think about is to keep an inventory sheet so all of your items you know list everything out um, and once you you get everything um, together you mm -hmm. want to take pictures of everything because uh, generally you know generally movers are not held liable for any damage to consumer packed boxes so unless you can prove negligence so if you have those photos beforehand then you can prove that that the the damage was done on their part well Katie thank you for joining us all good tips to keep in mind and if you have a question about a scam product or a contractor be sure to log on to bbb.org for more Juan over to you